Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Les Heinz, the president of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, National Capital, Chesapeake Bay Chapter. Hello, everyone. Uh, in your program, this speech is listed as the presentation of the President's Award. That will be coming shortly. But before I do that, I need to share some significant news that's occurring in the life of this chapter. It deals with an issue that is vitally important to our profession and our society. And like many important issues in this country, this particular issue has been boiled down into two words. Me too. Me too. As I, you can do it. As I was thinking about what I would say tonight, I thought it was important to share with you that this is important to me. I'm the father of a, I'm, excuse me, I'm the husband of a wife who has been harassed in the workplace. I'm the father of two working daughters who have been objectified on the job more often than they care to talk about with their father. As I wrote those words, I came to realize that chances are I'm not alone. In fact, I would bet real money that the majority of people in this room, the majority of people watching tonight, have been impacted by this issue. I suspect they've either experienced harassment themselves or they know someone who has. Which leads me to a fundamental question. How the hell did we get here? My answer, my answer is simple. Too many of us look the other way. Some looked the other way because they were scared. They were worried about their job. They were worried about their career. Others looked the other way because it was just uncomfortable. And then there are those who endured, not knowing how to stop it or feeling left out of our industry entirely. Well, a lot has changed in the last 12 months, and a great deal has come out into the open. And I'm happy to say that the, 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 that the days of looking the other way are over. As a founding chapter of the premier organization in television arts, our Board of Governors feels it is important that we be part of the discussion and part of the solution. With all due respect to other groups, we wanted to do more than just hand out buttons. We wanted to be part of real change. Earlier this month, the Board of Governors of the National Capital Chesapeake Bay Chapter of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences voted unanimously to form an alliance with an organization called Press Forward. Two words, Press Forward. Press Forward is a new initiative to stop sexual harassment and assault in newsrooms. Their mission is also to create safe and healthy workplaces for men and women in our, in our profession. They are aligned with some of the top groups in our profession. Tonight, we join that list. One of their founders, Shannon Van Sant of NPR, is with us tonight to help us make the announcement. Please give her a round of applause. Thank you. This alliance with Press Forward means that you'll be hearing from us more often on this issue. We will make resources, best practices, and research findings from Press Forward available to you, our members. We also intend to incorporate them into our events, including many of those that deal in the area of education. I want to emphasize that this initiative was homegrown by the Board of Governors. It is the result of several months of work and dialogue by a group of your peers who felt it was important to not only be part of the discussion, but also contribute to real solutions. And with that, if you are a member of the Board of Governors, past, present, or incoming, I would ask you to stand and be recognized because this is an issue that we can all stand up for. Kristen, stand up. You were on the board. Thank you. Speaking of the Board of Governors and awkward transitions, my other task tonight is to announce this year's recipient of the President's Award. The President's Award was established by my predecessor, Sean McGarvey, about seven years ago as a way to recognize people who have gone far beyond the call of volunteer duty. 
I'm proud to say that I'm a past recipient and I take this very seriously. We have accomplished a great deal in this chapter. The Press Forward Alliance is a good example of that, but it is not the only one. Our educational initiatives, FaceTime with the Pros, our student awards, our scholarships, the gold and silver circles, the people who have volunteered to put on this event. These people involved in all of these areas would be worthy recipients. But none of it would be possible if we didn't do what we're doing here tonight, recognizing excellence in television arts, maintaining integrity, Maintaining the integrity of the awards process is one of the most important and, yes, challenging things we do. Without it, the Golden Lady loses her luster. So the recipients of this year's President's Award are our awards co-chairs, Amanda Zimmer of NBC Sports Washington and Jason Gitlin of WRC. Would you please come to the stage? Um, yeah, I was not expecting this at all. So um, thank you, Deles, for uh, all his help and guidance so far this year. This has been a new venture for both uh, Jason and I. So um, uh, we really appreciate you all coming out tonight and uh, making the awards what they've been this year. Um, everything we do is a team effort. So thank you for, to the uh, whole awards committee. Um, it's been countless volunteer hours, vetting entries, um, and going through entries and making sure we put on uh, uh, the best award program we possibly can. Uh, thank you to all the entrants, because you guys are the ones who make this happen, and the amazing staff, um, Carol, Ashlyn, and Sharon. Uh, thank you guys, you're the best. <laughs>